Hello students, here we will revise 55 important terms and definitions from chapters 1 to 5 and questions based on these can easily come in your first term exam. Biodiversity, it is the term used to refer to the variety of microorganisms, plants and animals present on earth or you can say the number and types of organisms present on earth is called as biodiversity. Taxonomy, it is the study of principles and procedures of identification, nomenclature and classification of organisms or it is the branch of science concerned with identifying, naming and classifying the organisms. Concept of species, all the members that can interbreed among themselves and can produce fertile offspring belong to one species or individuals of one species are capable of exchanging genes or can interbreed among themselves. Taxa, each category or unit of classification is called taxon such as species, genus, family, class, order. All these are different categories or taxon. Taxonomic hierarchy. Classification of organisms in a definite sequence of taxon or category or rank in descending order. Means in taxonomic hierarchy, we start classifying organisms in descending order starting from kingdom, then phylum, followed by class, order, family, genus and finally species. Systematics. It deals with the classification of organisms based on their diversities and also the relationship between them. The word systematic is derived from the Latin word systema which means systematic arrangement of organisms and this term was proposed by Carolus Linnaeus who wrote a book Systema Naturae. Three domains of life. It was proposed by Carl Vos in 1990 who also proposed six kingdom classification of living organisms. In three domains of life, the kingdom Monera was divided into two domains, Bacteria and Archae, while other four kingdoms, Protista, Plantae, Fungi and Animalia were included in the third domain, Eukarya. Thus, in total there are six kingdoms in three domains of life and these three domains of life are Archae, Bacteria and Eukarya. This you can see in the given ray diagram. Binomial nomenclature. It was given by Carolus Linnaeus where each scientific name of an organism has two names. One generic name and other specific name. Now see how to write it. Genus name comes first and species name follows next. Inko Greek or Latin language mein likha jata hai because Latin is a dead language and never changes in meaning. Genus name capital letter se start kiya jata hai jabki species name ko small letter se start kiya jata hai. Scientific name should be written in italics or underlined. Now see scientific names of man, it is homo sapiens, housefly, it is musca domestica, mango, mangifera indica and wheat, triticum estivum. Two kingdom classification, it was given by Carolus Linnaeus where all organisms were grouped in two kingdoms, kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. Those who cannot move and can make food by photosynthesis were included in kingdom plenty and those who can move and depend on others for the food material were included in kingdom animalia. Five kingdom classification. It was given by R.H. Whittaker in 1969 where organisms were put in five kingdoms Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Artificial system of classification. 
it is the oldest and first approach of classification of plants given by Carolus Linnaeus. It was based on androsium structure and vegetative characters and this system gave equal weightage to vegetative and sexual characters for classifying plants. Natural system of classification for flowering plants. It was given by George Bentham and J.D. Hooker and it was based on natural affinities among organisms including both external as well as internal features. Ultrastructure, anatomy, embryology and phytochemistry. These internal features along with external features were used to classify flowering plants in natural system of classification. Phylogenetic system of classification, it was given by Engel and Prentel and later by Hutchinson. This is the present system of classification based on evolutionary relationships between the various organisms. This assumes that organisms belonging to same taxa have common ancestors. Numerical taxonomy, it is carried out by using computers and based on all observable characteristics. In this, numbers and codes are assigned to all characters and data are then processed. Cytotaxonomy, this is based on cytological information and it gives importance to chromosome number, structure and behavior. Chemotaxonomy, it uses the chemical constituents of plants to resolve confusions and are also used by taxonomists these days. Gametophyte, it is a gamete producing haploid phase having n number of chromosomes of plant's life cycle. Sporophyte, it is deployed phase of plant life cycle having 2n number of chromosomes and in this phase of life cycle spores are formed. Open type of blood circulation, when the blood is pumped out through heart but not confined to blood vessels or you can say blood directly bathes the body organ. This is called as open type of blood circulation. You can see the diagram of an insect which belongs to phylum arthropoda showing open type of blood circulation. Closed type of blood circulation, here the blood is circulated through the blood vessels. Here in diagram earthworm is shown which belongs to phylum annelida and it has got the closed circulatory system. Asymmetrical body, when the organisms cannot be divided into two equal halves through any plane, it is asymmetrical as in case of sponges. Radial symmetry, in radial symmetry any plane passing through central axis can divide organisms into identical halves as in case of coelenterates, tenophores and echinodermata. Bilateral symmetry, here only one plane can divide the organism into two identical left and right halves. This is seen in annelids and arthropods. You can see three symmetries in diagram. A is showing asymmetrical body, B is showing radially symmetrical body and C is showing bilaterally symmetrical body. Diploblastic, when cells are arranged in two embryonic layers, external ectoderm and internal endoderm, these are called as diploblastic animals. An undifferentiated layer, mesoglia, is present in between ectoderm and endoderm. Porifers and coelenterates are diploblastic animals. Triploblastic, here three layers are present in developing embryo, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Animals from platyhelminthes to chordates are triploblastic animals. Coelomates, when true coelom is present and body cavity is lined by mesoderm, 
these animals are called as coelomates annelids arthropods mollusks echinoderms and chordates are coelomates pseudo coelomates pseudo means false here no true coelom is present as coelom is not lined by mesoderm instead mesoderm is present in scattered patches this is seen in case of ascalmenthes a coelomates no body cavity is present in these animals as in case of platyhelminthes metagenesis alternation of generation between two body forms is called as metagenesis for example in obelia medusa form which is free swimming form changes to polyp form which is sessile means fixed form medusa forms polyp sexually while polyp form changes to medusa form asexually so here obelia shows alternation of generation having two forms medusa and polyp metamerism if body is externally as well as internally divided into segments or metameres with serial repetition of some organs in each segment it is called as metamerism and it is seen in animals of phylum annelida hermaphrodites are the animals with both sex organs present in one individual and examples of hermaphrodites are worms slugs or snails eurocordata it is the subphylum of phylum chordata where notochord is present only in larval tail and example of eurocordate is doliolum cephalocordata it is also the subphylum of phylum chordata where notochord is extended from head to tail and is persistent throughout the life and example of cephalocordate is branchiostoma agnatha and gnathostomata chordata ka third subphylum vertebrata hai and it has two divisions agnatha and gnathostomata agnatha includes animals without jaw as in case of class cyclostomata an example of this is petromyzon why gnathostomata are the animals which have jaws as in super classes pisces and tetrapods where tetrapods includes classes amphibians reptiles apes and mammals and pisces includes classes chondrichthyes and osteichthyes all these have jaws oviparous are egg laying animals like fishes amphibians reptiles and apes viviparous are animals which give birth to young ones as in mammals but platypus is a mammal and is oviparous poikilotherms are cold blooded animals like fishes amphibians and reptiles which are unable to maintain the constant body temperature homeotherms are those animals which are able to maintain constant body temperature and are called warm blooded animals like birds and mammals exoskeleton is the skeleton present outside the body of an organism as in case of cockroach and other insects endoskeleton is the skeleton present inside the body of the organism which form the framework of the body pneumatic bones are bones with air cavities these are present in apes which make the body light it is an adaptation for flight in birds monoecious are organisms where both sex organs present in one individual dioecious are organisms where both sex organs are present in separate individuals for example in annelids earthworm and leeches are monoecious while nereis is dioecious bioluminescence is the property of living organism to emit light it is seen in tenophores inflorescence 
is the arrangement of flowers on floral axis. Inflorescence is of two types, racemos, where main axis continues to grow and flowers on the axis born in acropetal order, means new flowers are present at the top and older flowers are present at the base. Cymos inflorescences here main axis terminates in flower and flowers born in basipetal order where new flowers are present at the base and older flower is present at the top. Accessory organs of flower these are calyx and corolla while reproductive organs of flowers are androsium and gynosium. Perianth when calyx and corolla are not distinct rather they are fused together then it is called as perianth. Bisexual flower when flower has both androsium and gynosium means both male and female part of flower present then it is called as bisexual flower. Unisexual flower in this the flower is having either androsium or gynosium. Thalamus, it is the swollen end of stalk or pedicel. Symmetry, actinomorphic, here flower is radially symmetrical where it can be divided into two equal halves along any plane. Example, mustard, dhatura, chili are actinomorphic flowers. Zygomorphic flowers have bilateral symmetry where they are divided into two equal halves only by a medial cut through the central axis as in pea, gulmohar, bean and cassia. Trimerous, tetramerous and pentamerous flowers. A flower may be trimerous, tetramerous or pentamerous when the floral appendages are in multiple of 3, 4 or 5 respectively. Bracted flowers are flowers having a bract which is reduced leaf found at the base of pedicel. E bracted flowers are flowers without a bract. Hypogynous, perigynous and epigynous flowers. In hypogynous flower, the gynosium occupies highest position and ovary is superior as in case of mustard, china rose and brinjal. In perigynous flower, the gynosium is in the center and other parts are located on the rim of thalamus and here ovary is called half inferior as in plum, rose and peach. In epigynous flower, the margin of thalamus grows upward, enclose the ovary completely and here ovary is inferior as in guava and cucumber. Calyx may be gamosepalous when sepals are united or it may be polysepalous when sepals are free. Corolla also may be gamopetalous when petals are united and they may be polypetalous when petals are free. Stamens may be epipetalous if they are attached to petals as in brinjal or they may be epiphyllous if they are attached with perianth as in flowers of lily. Steminode is a sterile stamen. Stamens may be monodelphous if they are united in one bunch as in china rose. They may be diadelphous if they are united in two bunches as in pea or they may be polydelphous if stamens are united in more than two bunches as in citrus. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for staying with me. Subscribe the channel to get the information about my new video. Thank you. Thank you so much.